Why hello everyone, Sean here and welcome to this month's channel update for uh, April and a look back on March. Uh, today we're going to be doing things a little differently. I wanted to kind of change, change things up a bit, uh, kind of rearranging what I usually talk about in these videos for, um, monthly. And um, you know, this being called a channel update, I feel like I should just right away um, go straight into the channel update and then, you know, um, go into the more trivial side of things and just me and how I've been doing and all that stuff. Um, you know, I wanted to get the most, you know, titular, is that the word for it? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, portion of the video out of the way first, you know, that way people who are actually curious about the channel update uh, itself, of course, uh, can get their information, get their fill and uh, see if they, um, you know, can stick around or are interested enough to stick around for how I'm doing all that stuff. Um, I think that makes a little more sense, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm always willing to try out new things for the channel anyway. When it comes to, even when it comes to like the more subtle things, like just simple as rearranging something. So, anyways, I'm gonna go straight into what we're gonna do for the channel or what we're what what's going coming up for the channel. So, what's coming up for the channel? Uh, I I plan to do. Um, I, I plan to have um, more Pokemon card openings that I had from the stream side of things. Uh, so a lot of the videos you'll see is from the past, essentially. But there are going to be a couple of products that are, that are still coming in. Uh, I'm waiting for them to be fulfilled. And so uh, I just got to wait on them. And we'll see um, if they'll even come for this month. So I'm going to expect... I'm kind of preparing for it, but at the same time, uh, trying not to put my hopes too high up there. Uh, I, I just, you know, I still have stuff to do for the month for anyway, anyway, for the, for any other video. Um, that's just pretty much the gist of it when it comes to that. Um, a lot of the, like I said, a lot of the videos are going to be, um, from the past, so there are going to be videos where I show off the code cards. Those are already going to be burned um, during the stream. Those are all for the folks during the stream, so I apologize for anyone who tried to grab them on uh, YouTube. Uh, there's no no way to grab them now, so um, that's just usually how it goes. But I I had made some changes uh, with the Pokemon video Pokemon card videos that um, I will only show the code cards on the Twitch channel side of things and. Um, uh, which I'm gonna call. I, I showed them uh, at the end of the stream, not during the opening itself, because it takes too long for, to my liking. Uh, it also just uh, creates unnecessary confusion for people who watch it on uh, YouTube, and I think it just um, makes it. It's just beneficial to me all around, and you know, um, kind of smart because people tend to stick around a little more, waiting for the codes. Uh, there are people who are willing to wait for those codes. Um, maybe maybe after the VOD or maybe all the way to the end of the stream. So, you know, for those who are really appreciative and supportive and all that stuff, uh, I really do appreciate that, of course. But um, point being, though, it's more on the practical side of things. It just cuts down the editing a lot faster on those videos uh, when it comes to Pokemon cards. So, um, I really don't feel um, that it's practical in my, in my style to show code cards in between each opening <clears throat> like I do for, uh, like a lot of people do for uh, for their packs on uh, many across many other uh, Pokemon card opening channels so that's just my philosophy of things I just, uh, it's more of a practical thing but at the same time it just works out for so many other things too where yeah you know you may have better viewer retention on, on the streams um, it makes it more streamlined for the YouTube video side of things and you know um, it uh, lessens my little workload when it comes to uh, actually getting around to editing these things so uh, that's just my reasoning for it when it comes to the Pokemon card opening sort of changes for the videos themselves when it comes to the code cards uh, specifically um, but anyway um, I'm gonna have more of those videos um, well, when it comes to the, the the ones with the changes, those are only going to be few, right? And then the rest of them are going to be the older Pokemon card opening videos. So you'll see the code cards thrown out there still, but 
uh, in advance. I will, you know, apologize for that. Um, those are already been burned during the stream, and that's all there is to it. So more Pokemon card videos are coming still, and they're gonna be, there are gonna be a couple more just trinkling here and there, uh, maybe for this month, but definitely for May all the way up to June, pretty much, um, pretty much all, all the way to the to the next set, which is Chilling Rain. But anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it from that one. As you all may know, also uh, the review videos for uh, certain games could be coming out. Uh, I'm hoping to get around to Monster Hunter Rise. I've been really looking at that game, so uh, I, won't, I would like to put my time into making a video of sorts for that game. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, try to go ahead and do that uh, for the month. And also, uh, Godzilla vs Kong is gonna come around. So I want to see if uh, my friend Danny can. Uh, come through for the for that uh, movie review video But if uh, I don't I will plan to bring in uh, another friend of mine who has been singing with me throughout the uh, Hypecasts and such uh, Zoardo Re and I'm gonna uh, Have him on board since uh, well if if my friend Danny doesn't make it uh, I'll have him on board since he is kind of like my fellow kaiju fan so um kind of works out either way. Uh, hopefully we can get that done one way or the other. If uh, none of them can make it, uh, if they're too busy, then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I love Godzilla and I'm definitely not gonna pass up on doing a review of sorts. So I'm gonna do my best to make any of those happen. But with me solo, that's pretty much gonna be the absolute backup for it. Uh, that'll hopefully happen sometime in April. Uh, anyway, uh, you can expect more hype casts uh, weekly. Uh, we've been really doing a good job, I think, uh, doing these consistently. You know, getting, getting around each other's schedules. Um, you know, uh, maybe there are a few of you wondering where the rest of the people who usually were on the hype casts. Um, you know, once again, I'm going to address it here uh, just to make things real clear. You know, they're busy. They're doing their own thing, and I don't really want to um, you know bother them for it. At the same time, um, even so, like. Their schedules and such, um, you know, it's it's difficult at times, you know, and um, you know, a good number of us are busy with our own thing, and um, I don't want to bother them too much because I have my own thing, and I, I will expect to, uh, for them to do able able to do their thing. Um, but you know, um, if it's convenient for them, then uh, I'll have them on board uh, occasionally, but. When it comes to the more consistent side of things, it's just going to be me and Zawa for right now. Our schedules happen to be the most compatible for the time being, and we'll see how things go in the future. But uh, f you know, for right now, I think it's working. I, I, you know, I've been still having fun making these um, <clears throat> uh, videos and such for the podcast. Um, the whole thing with the video stuff, uh, the webcam and face cam and all that stuff has been new to us uh but we've been rocking it for a little while now and i think i think it's i think it works it's only supplemental and uh it definitely works um in many situations such as the pandemic for example uh we've been doing these virtual podcasts for a very long time even way before so you know we're, we're kind of you know kind of used to it um <laughs> and so we're uh we're pretty we're pretty on point on that part Anyway, um, we can expect more of those uh, videos throughout throughout uh, each week. So uh, it's just a matter of uh, when I can get those videos on time exactly. Uh, sometimes um, uh, I, I can't I can get busy at times working on other videos for people, and uh, you know it's kind of difficult at times to get the um, podcast out there right on time. But you know you can always expect them to come out at some point for each week so uh, but anyway uh, let's see the uh, movie review for um, uh, Justice League should be out or almost out or we are shooting it pretty much hopefully um, by the time this video comes out so uh, hopefully that happens um, there is some uh, I think it's worth something uh, talking about and uh, um, I think um, it's, it'll be, a, it'll be a, n a nice little video of myself and Danny uh, getting back together once again. Uh, it's been a while, I know, and you know, you have to understand the 
the current situation of things still, but um, we'll, we, we try our best to make something happen. And, um, you know, um, and it of course has to work for both of us, you know, if not, uh, either of us don't feel like exactly talking about this thing and all that stuff, then we're not going to force it. So anyway, um, hopefully the Justice League video is out or going to be out for this month. Otherwise, I don't really have anything else particularly planned. Um, a lot of these videos are spontaneous. You know, the Hog Talks videos are definitely spontaneous. Because they talk about, you know, like, newsy type of things or it's anything I just want to feel like talking about. So, those are always going to be the more spontaneous videos. But ex expect some always for each month. And this is the exception here. So, really beyond the movie reviews and one game review... Um, spe like it's especially planned for this month. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know the Pokemon s new Pokemon Snap uh, video game is going to be coming out this month, so I will be on that and I will uh, get my full assessment um, as soon as I pretty much got the full feel of the video or uh, video game. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's the uh, pretty much the gist of things. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it that really comes to mind um, when it comes to incoming videos and whatever updates are uh, relative to the channel for the month. Uh, that's it on that part. So now it's on the more vloggy side of things and uh, I can talk to you guys how I've been doing. Uh, I've been hanging in there, um, doing, doing pretty good um, in the midst of the pandemic still. We're all still trying to uh, stay safe. Uh, there are more and more people getting their vaccine shots, uh, seems like. It really, you know, is um, a little more motivating in, a, in that sense, I guess, to really get me going on getting my first appointment for the vaccine shot. Um, I, of course, I, I had planned to, um, you know, uh, get, that, get that shot um, in two doses or whatever ever since... Um, my, my dad, you know, passed away and such. So, uh, of course, I'm going to do my part, of course, to stay safe and uh, for the sake of myself and also my family. And, of course, my friends. Um, I'm just, uh, I just want to do my part as much as I can and and we can go from there, pretty much. So, pretty much in April, um, I will try to actually go out my way to make an appointment and uh, we'll, hopefully we can get that going some way or some, somehow. So, um, anything else? Uh, oh yeah, so, as you may tell, uh, for some of you, I got a brand new camera. Um, I was able to uh, get my hands on this, uh, Sony Alpha A6400. Uh, it's been serving me really well uh, in comparison to the Lumix GX85 from Panasonic. I've been using that for uh, quite a while. Um, it was pretty good for what it was. You really had to kind of like uh, be tolerant and would be willing to work with its flaws. Uh, one of the biggest flaws for that camera was the the um, auto focusing system. It's just different. I don't don't want to say it's worse or bad or anything like that. It works for everything else, but when it comes to this sort of shot in s certain situations. Um, Unfortunately, it does not shine there. So um, the Sony cameras are much more flexible in that sense. They're very much more vlog friendly, I guess, in that sense too. Um, YouTube content friendly, streaming friendly. So the point here is that it's much more flexible and I really do like it. Uh, it's been really satisfying to get every video done with this thing. And um, I kind of always want an excuse to use this camera just to um you know just just to do so you know just, it's just so fun so much more fun to shoot with this camera than i i did with the panasonic just because of its flaws i think also i mean this is a you know, brand new camera too so that so obviously the tech specs are more updated so naturally you'll probably get more likely to get a better picture um and blah 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 you name it so and also, it's got a, it's got that nice flip screen, so I can I'm like literally staring at that flip screen, and uh, I don't know if it really actually changes my eye direction, uh, but I'll try to 
I mean, I try to do my best to look at the um, the lens here, but I can't help it to look at the screen over there. Um, just because I'm like constantly staring at the, the audio, audio meter just to make sure I'm not blowing out or anything like that and all that such. Uh, my setup is slightly different too. Um, I used to have a Zoom uh, H1, I want to say. It's the little portable recorder from Zoom. Um, uh, I want to say it's the H1. Let me just take a quick look see. The H, H1N. The H1N um, little pocket recorder. Um, I used to have it actually right above my um, right above my head to make it look like it's a shotgun mic, and um, you know it it kind of worked, but um, only if if I was directly under. So if I was forward, if I was back, uh, it it would definitely uh, change the sound uh, quality altogether. It just sounds different altogether, and then. Um, you know, sometimes, yeah, it can be a little jarring for um, when, when you go like video to video. So um, I just went ahead and uh, a little light bulb popped in my head and I just thought, why don't I just mount that same thing onto my tripod? And I actually had a auxiliary cable, <clears throat> excuse me, um, plugged into the output of the recorder and into the input of the camera. So what you're hearing is the recorder kind of on standby, but it's still picking up sound and um, pretty much it's directly plugged into the camera. So now it's using that as a microphone instead of its internal microphone. So that's how you're getting the sound without having me to lug around my microphone over here, which yeah, it would be best, but you know, sometimes I kind of want to sit down and talk, you know what I mean, and record. So, you know, like this, for example, so uh, you know, it's been a pretty pretty cool setup. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture right now just to see if, for you guys um, to have an idea what it looks like here. So I'll take a picture uh, now, and I'll hopefully put that in post uh, for later. So anyway, um, it's been serving me really well. I've been use, um, been really pretty much using the very much standard sort of recording setup, having the uh, microphone right there next to the camera, pointing towards me, and that's pretty much it. So pretty cool, uh, pretty snazzy, and um, makes a much more streamlined recording experience. Not to mention the camera itself works wonders when it comes to just this sort of setup. It's not chasing my face too much, I hope, but even if it is chasing, it's much more subtle um, than the Lumix, I would say, because it's a lot quicker. So, sorry for my uh, camera geek talk here, but that's why I put it put these things on the later half of things rather than now, or um, in the first half. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, um, point being, I'm really happy with the camera. Um, you can check out anyone else's vi video review to really get a concise, in-depth sort of review and information and all that stuff to you know know what's what about um, the camera and all that such. Uh, point here for me is that I love it. It's very satisfying. It's fun, and um, I haven't taken pictures with it yet. So, uh, but I'm pretty sure it'll f perform just fine. I'll probably take pictures of my dog and. I'll uh, base my review off of that from there because that's the kind of photographer I am. You know, very casual in comparison. Uh, a little more passionate than your casual um, photographer, but, um, you know, because obviously I have a mirrorless camera, why would I, you know, not take pictures uh, at some point? I have with the Panasonic uh, Lumex, and that one, that's, that's served well there. Takes great pictures um, and all that such. I love the micro four thirds um, system. I think it works for um, for that department when you want to do photography um, on a kind of a mid-range uh, level um, sort of um, quality of photography but I think you can even achieve great results with it if you know how to really get, uh, get it down right. So anyway enough of the camera talk. I love the camera. That's pretty much it. So really glad I did, uh, was able to purchase this camera and it's all paid off and all that stuff. So I'm pretty good. 
anyway, um, anything else uh, in life? Uh, I got Monster Hunter, like I kind of mentioned. Um, pretty fun game so far. And uh, it's kind of very reminiscent of Monster Hunter World, you know, that sort of launch week or launch month even, playing with, with friends and all that stuff. Um, I will pretty much uh, put all my thoughts in that in that video. I don't want to talk about too much here, but point being, I do recommend it uh, if you have play, uh, friends to play it with, and it really is fun. Um, Monster Hunter is that great game. Uh, kind of a perfect sort of um, gray area for me when it comes to like the more grindy uh, co-op games. I usually don't um, put my time into like MMOs at all because I really don't have the time to do so um, with what I have right now going on. But uh, that's why games like Monster Hunter are there for me so I can kind of get my foot down on that and I can be able to play my friends because usually my friends are on something else, right? Like MMOs and all that stuff. Uh, I, and, and once, especially once uh, PSO Genesis comes out, um, that could be something for me, but I don't know. Um, we'll have to see about that. That's a very grindy game. Um, still different from your typical MMO, sure, very arcadey, but I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But point being, though, Monster Hunter is that great game. I can do that with friends and um, get some great armor, great looking weapons, and all that stuff. And the gameplay has been really fun. Consistent frame rates for the most part, which is very surprising that the Switch is able to run that thing at all at that sort of performance. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it definitely shattered my expectations on that one. Uh, not to be a, a little meme on that one, but um, you know what I mean. So anyway, um, great game. I highly recommend it. It's been selling quite well for a reason. Um, anything else? Um, I, you know, uh, I've talked about Pokemon cards, so I've gotten uh, I got my fill pretty much for mostly for battle styles. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna chase any more uh, booster boxes anymore. I just uh, rather just put my money in, down into the pretty much the biggest chase card um, that I'm after now, which is the alternate art uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike V Max. It's the um, the one with him sitting and he's like kind of in a more meditative state. There's a lot of Pokemon surrounding him, and that's so. Um, that's why it's highly collectible. It's expensive right now, so I'm waiting for the price to go down, which will probably be a couple months later down the road when Chilling Rain and other new sets come out. Um, that's hopefully that will be the time when the price goes down. So I'll I'll try to uh, snag that as uh, as soon as I can after that. But, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I've had my fill with Battle Styles. I think it was a pretty decent set, especially for those who love Empoleon and Ty uh, Tyranitar and the trainers that come with that. So uh, I was able to pull my um, last chase card, so I'm going to leave that to you guys to find out. But anyway, uh, very, very happy with what I got. Um, it was a pretty fun set, not going to lie, to try to pull because, you know, the alternate arts are pretty nice to, uh, to chase for. But I can understand uh, other people's feelings about it. They may feel that it is mediocre or a little more on the middle of the road sort of set. You know, not too um, thrilling, but not too horrible either. There are some some cool cars to collect in there. So, um, so pretty much, uh, I'm gonna be just opening the rest of the stuff that are coming in, and those are all gonna be YouTube videos from there on. And uh, during those videos, I think uh, I will be showing the code cards just just cause um, that's just how it goes. Probably maybe uh, maybe the, by the end of the the video, the YouTube videos, I think it makes more sense. But um, I think um, I don't know if I do show it during each opening, I'll be very quick about it, and you'll have to take a screenshot or whatever. Do what you, do what you have to do to get those code cards. But anywho. Uh, anything else uh, when it comes to that? Um, I have not opened my uh, copy of Persona 5 Strikers. I really should get around to doing that. I tend to be um, very. Uh, I tend I tend to um, have fun with a lot of the Warriors games, and I feel like this time around, this is a little different 
from your typical Warriors game. So I should get around and try to do that with uh, Persona 5 Strikers. But I'm occupied with Monster Hunter Rise right now and pretty much uh, Pokemon Snap is going to snag that time as well. So that's uh, going to be a little difficult for me to get around to. Not to mention I still have Yakuza like a dragon to uh, try to finish. Uh, that's, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. So, um, I think, uh, there was a couple more things I do want to talk about, which is the animes I've been watching. Still, uh, kind of lingering on One Piece. Uh, I did kind of caught up on it, and then there was, uh, I think, a couple episodes that just came out, so, um, haven't caught those yet. But, I've been caught up all on Attack on Titan, uh, the manga, of course, and also the anime. And, damn, I just... How do you left on a cliffhanger in the anime, of course, right? Because I already know what's going to happen. But I do really want to see it all animated. Uh, I was hoping that they would get it all in one go. But I guess it makes sense. Uh, they, I guess they really want to make sure everything's all on par for the quality. So I I can wait. Um, I can start other animes as well, like uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Uh, I do want to really check that one out because uh, I've been really curious about it. But uh, then again, April is going to have a lot of animes coming out. I'm uh, definitely going to be catching Shaman King and uh, going to be trying out Eden Zero. I read the manga and I think it's it, it's just more of it's just more of Mashima stuff. If you really if you really are a fan of his, um, you can definitely check that out. Uh, but you know. Um, is it worse or better than Fairy Tail? That's really up to you. Um, it does have a lot of reoccurring things, so I don't know. It's just um, hard, hard to say if, if it's any better or worse. You know what I mean? Uh, so the best way to put it is just more of it's just more of Mishima's work. I do really enjoy his art, so that's why I keep um, looking at it or reading it rather. Um, when it comes to the anime, uh, I am willing to check it out with friends, and we'll see um, if we we'll, if we'll continue with that. So um, I think that'll be pretty interesting to uh, see a certain someone react to it. Essentially, anyway, um, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to Shaman King. There's also one uh, anime that's also coming up. I feel like I'm. Uh, not remembering, but I know there is Godzilla, a singular point. I don't know if I can catch that on Netflix right away because since you know USA based here, but um, uh, I think in Japan is where it comes out first. Perhaps I will try to um, make up make my work around to catch it early and see if it's even worth it and all that stuff. You know, it's been pretty exciting to kind of like see what it's like to uh, see it through the trailers and all that stuff but I think uh, I'll reserve that opinion until I see a couple of episodes before I you know drop a an impressions video about it or something to that nature anyways I think there's a good number of a uh, anime coming out in April uh, as well um, it, there, there's a, a lot of good stuff uh, plenty of good stuff for April so I can definitely kind of um, kind of t uh, channel my, my my time into those animes, especially with Shaman King. I definitely want to catch Shaman King. It's very nostalgic for me, and it'll be a nice trip uh, trip back to um, the days of um, shonen anime characters, you know, and on all that fun stuff. So uh, anyway, um, I think. Um, that is it. Oh, there is one more thing I do want to uh, mention. Uh, I did get my Amiibos for Terry, Byleth, and Banjo-Kazooie. So, uh, definitely will do uh, videos of those being opened and reviewing all this fun stuff. I think that's pretty much it. That really comes to mind. Just trying to look, ar look around to be reminded of something. But yeah, um, that's it on my part. Um, other than that, I've been playing Genshin Impact still. Mobile games, you name it. Um, like mobile games like Azure Lane. I've been actually been on Azure Lane more than um, uh, other times uh, recently, and I did able to. I uh, was able to pull Baltimore. Finally, uh, I really wanted to pull that ship. She looks really good. 
Um, I really do how I do look how she, uh, like how she looks, and I got her uh, one of her skins, which is like a Japanese kimono sort of outfit on her, and uh, wow, it's a really it's a really good look on her. So I really really was glad as I would get her. I got I got a good number of Alabama uh, before that, so it was kind of like that sort of that PTSD moment because uh, when the first time that banner came out. That's all I pretty much got instead of um, Baltimore, and I think they even had the same build times too. So I got bamboozled so many times. Um, <laughs> it's it's not even funny. But anyway. Um, oh yeah, not uh, I forgot to I forgot to uh, um, uh, mention this, but the Rosaria banner, or I should say the Tokoglia banner that has Rosaria in there, uh, is gonna be rolling around uh, soon enough. Uh, I think it's like eight days from now as I record this so uh, I definitely will be rolling for that banner and we'll see how I fare with those rolls I do have um, a good amount of gems saved up so uh, you know from free to play of course and uh, that's pretty much um, uh, going to be a fun one try to get the four star over the five star well let's see how soon I get the five star um, Pulled out from that banner, which is child. <laughs> Man of all the units. Anyway, I was hoping for Rosario to be in the Venti banner, honestly, but, um, you know, hey, uh, at least Tagoglia is not a terrible unit. I could, I could use another water unit. That could be really, really, um, really useful. But, uh, anyway, Rosario is the, is the target for this one. Uh, I'm hoping that the Song Lee banner will come soon after and see if I can pull him uh, after that. So, either that one or Eula, man. If Eula is coming, man, uh, man, it's gonna be kind of tough, but I think, I mean, when you, when you kind of think about it, the better choice when it comes to the actual gameplay side of things is probably Song Lee. I think Song Lee is very powerful. They even buffed him, even though he was not bad. And now he's very good, you know, for the role he plays in, which I believe is like sub DPS or um, just support in general. And um, uh, I think he's a great unit in that department, but I think he still does plenty of damage for a unit of his kind. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is all pretty much uh, all I can say. Um, that's I think that's pretty. That's I think that's enough. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So for those who don't know already, I've set up a display store. Um, I've had it a long time ago, but I uh, haven't done much since. I've added one artwork uh, around that time, but I added one more, uh, which is custom me from uh, Persona 5 or Persona, Ro uh, Persona 5 Royal. And um, you know, if you guys like what you're seeing, and if you want a metal poster of your own, you can definitely check it out. Um, and uh, make a purchase there. It help. It'll help me out, and you guys, you you guys will get something out of it. Uh, also, um, there's always like a good amount of like coupon codes lying around. So I'm not a sponsor or anything like that. So I can't, you know, give out my own code and for you guys to get a good discount on. But there's always good one. There's always other ones out there, and uh, you you can get plenty of good discounts um, by the time you make your decision to make a purchase of these metal uh, posters. Uh, they're pretty neat. Um, I've had one. Um, it's like off to the side, but I've had one and uh, definitely um, follow the instructions because I kind of failed to follow one step in there, crucial step, and uh, the metal post unfortunately fell. But um, I I uh, purchased more adhesive stuff from this plate, and uh, I'll definitely do it right this time around, and it'll definitely be up there a lot longer. Anyways. Um, that's uh, that's all I got for this plate. I'll definitely try to do more stuff on there. I uh, gotta gotta be a little be a little creative about it because um, a lot of times, uh, especially with like Pokemon, they they don't allow Pokemon. I think Pokemon Company is really strict on that, especially as of late. So um, you gotta just gotta cover other games for it. So I think that's a pretty good plan. Anywho, uh, that's definitely all I got. Uh, if you have any comments or anything like that, uh, leave me down in the comment section below. Love to uh, check them out. And um, for those uh, who haven't also known already, uh, the Hawk Talks videos, those comments 
will be read uh, in a um, you know next the next video after that or uh, sometime down the road. Depends on uh, the comments and, and such, the um, and also the time uh, that you know I, I can fit them without making them too long, I guess. But anyways, I'm still I'm still kind of playing around with that, trying to do my best on that one. But anyway, uh, go, go ahead and leave those comments uh, down below. I'll probably read them in the Hawk Talks, and uh, yeah, so. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support as always. And uh, hope to see you guys uh, in the next one. Stay safe. Take care. Have a good one. Sean out.